Hallo und einen wunderschönen guten Abend, wie immer, vom Chateau de Colombe mit saint Baudel. Und wir, wir kämpfen gegen die, äh, gegen die Natur an, sozusagen. Bonjour. Ivy, sorry, Ivy. Ah, bonjour tous. Bienvenue à Genie to the Chateau de Colombe in saint Baudel. And hello to our speaking friends from around the world. So we are fighting Ivy, which sometimes grows. I, I, and I, I do love input, but then the people say, well, you just need to cut it at the base, right? Just, just. However, we have Ivy growing out of 350 year old walls. So at some point got in there and there's enough moisture and it's slowly destroyed. So now what? Right. So um, we right. had that with the tower, mm -hmm. um, which you will um, see us fighting a bit. <laughs> right. And fun. you did that as well when you cleared out stuff for the little greenhouse room that we're using now. That's oh same, my, yes. Same Was battle. That, yes. that ever destructive. And we have trees that are grown within just centimeters, uh, inches. Right. They were, they were let, let to grow in places that they should not have been. And now they're causing damage to the architecture, walls, Uh, the Pigeonet. Yes. So we're, we're basically trying to correct things that uh, had been just let go for too long and that's really a, a relatively normal having um, one single lady living here in her 80s. Trying to take care of this place is not a one-person job. Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> and uh, although we, we can ourselves take down trees, Yes. Without a problem. Uh, it was because of the location of these trees. Yes. That we decided that we actually needed somebody more professional to come in and help us get rid of them. And it's always funny when things grow next to a wall, they never grow away from the wall. No. No, they're growing over or, you know, over the, the roof or... And that when it becomes really necessary to have people there who do this all the time and who have done this before, And we found uh, a company that we're extremely happy with. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, here we go.
So we're gonna have a look at what the uh, woodsmen did today. <laughs> Absolutely. Now we have uh, Robinias here. Some people say there are acacias in the United Kingdom. They are called fake acacias. In German, um, Schein Akazien. The difference between an acacia and a robinia is that an acacia is a tropical tree. It grows in Africa. Um, and robinias are coming from Eastern Europe. They're very hardy trees. They have uh, wood that doesn't rot, but unfortunately they die. And uh, we have a lot of them that have where the bark already splits. And it's an almost invasive species because it is so, uh, it, it procreates like crazy. So unfortunately these trees, and they, they're very prone to mistletoe, which then you know, again kills them. Um, so today they took down two complete robinias and cut up the wood, stacked it up, and they cut down uh, a linden tree or a lime tree. Uh, because it was too tall and too close to the vacherie, so the, the cow stable, but so it's still there at about, I don't know, Stuart, six meters? Yeah. Five and a half, six meters tall. So we're gonna keep that and every couple of years it's gonna be pruned back. Um, it's, it's lovely. So, um, shall we have a quick look at the wood a bit more closer? Yeah, yeah. We can see exactly what they did. And, you know, just pointing out, these guys did, these guys did such a fantastic job at cleaning up things. I mean, stacking and it just really, really a great job. Well, and here when we, uh, yes, they did. They did. And very friendly, very quick, uh, just fantastic. And they came with their cherry picker, as you see. But so here you can see this. These are hollow spaces that are wet inside the, the trunk. But this is almost all the way down. So it, this tree is already rotting on the inside. Right. And it was, if you can show that maybe, Stuart, it was so close to the wall. Yeah. And above there where the, on, the, on the wall, you can see where it pushed the wall already. The upper part. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why this tree had to go. It is just way too close to the wall. It's already pushing it. And here at yeah, the top, you can see that's where it already had damaged and started uh, pushing the wall. So we keep this wood, um, we're gonna split it and we've done that in the United, uh, in the United States plenty. Uh, we're gonna split it, dry it, and we have firewood for years. Right. Let's go to the, I mean, we don't need to look at the linden tree. Yeah, the linden tree is there. You can see that they just, they basically just kind of topped it, right? They just took the top off of it for us. Yes, yeah, so and they cleaned everything at the bottom out so that it's, it's uh, cleaner and, um, the original tree, which was very old, at some point crashed into the farmyard. Right. That's why this wall looks the way it does. And we still have to rebuild that. And we're going to do this this summer, I think. Right. And yeah, and just to point out, one of the things that we have noticed a lot here is that you see here is that we have, they, they left old stumps from trees. Yeah. And then those re-sprouted again into multiple trees. And lindens are, are, are famous for that. Uh, we have one cross if you want to show that. Story. Sure. That was about a 200 year old lime tree or linden tree. And it was, it, it's a huge stump. And out of it grew, how many is that? Two, four, six, eight, oh, ten, ten, yeah. fourteen, fourteen trees. And about 10 of them are actually fairly large yeah. and really quite pretty and we, we love them and um, absolutely will protect them. Yes, but that's, not, that's in an area that's not going to damage a building or a wall or architecture or all, so right. it's not a problem. So, careful, there's a stump. 
and it is a windy day today, so we apologize if the audio is bad here. Yes, and um, today was actually a very important day because it was the first step uh, for us to save the Pichonier. Yes. The Pigeon Tower. And let's see how close that tree was. Right. Here, right? That's the tree. And this tree is pushing so hard that this is cracking the tower wall. So that was urgent that that was removed. Right. Uh, we had to let professionals do this because there are limits uh, to what we safely can do. And we also have uh, beyond Stewart, we just passed. Another huge patch of Corvinius, and they're uh, all leaning towards the the roof. And so we have contracted today that these all will be taken down. Now, again, none of these are healthy trees. Uh, when you look at them, they have, have some of them are completely dead. Some of them are partially dead. Yeah, there's broken branches up there that are just hanging in the tree. Very and, dangerous. Right, and then of course it's full of mistletoe, which has killed most of the trees anyway. Right, so um, that's, these are going to go in April, and uh, we will plant, for every tree we're taking down, we will, we will plant at least two more trees. Yeah. And... Uh, a different, I mean, with, with different varieties and uh, more biodiversity. Ha! Ah, that was the word. I <laughs> so this is exciting. This was a good day. Um, the kitchen work continues. Yep. And what else? Oh, John's coming back tomorrow. Oh, good, good. So let's go. Okay. Wonderful afternoon from uh, the Chateau de Colombe here. Um, I am, I just want to show you something. So this is Ivy that was, this is the tower, the right tower. Um, it is growing in sheets behind the, uh, the plaster. So it's like, this is the exterior of the plaster and it grows like this with um, behind it so <clears throat> so it pushes the entire plaster off this was an entire sheet that was behind the plaster and of course it, it completely destroys things so ivy is not a, a friend of buildings and let me see if i can show you this this is a bit clumsy but you know me this is was behind And we had the plaster, and as you can see, inside the wall, this was all in here. Sorry. So this round thing is the root that was inside the wall. And um, here I can do this. We have walls where in the middle of the wall, somehow how, uh, an ivy grew and is destroying the wall. So we um, have tried vinegar repeatedly. I mean, a lot. 
And yes, it burns the leaves, but the ivy is laughing at it. So we need to decide what we want to do there. We can't take the walls apart. So no idea. We will find it out. Um, yeah, just thought you might find this interesting. Finally got this oopa, last piece of the root out and oh, loose. If you look at it, I mean, I have fairly large hands. This is huge. So all this destruction of the plaster here is due to ivy, nothing else. I think I was done. I thought I was done. I think I just shouldn't. And then I realized this. So a big chunk of stone, it's huge, with a plaster on it. And in here are thick ivy roots and they are so strong and hard. So I have to dismantle the corner of a tower that stood here for hundreds of years because the ivy is just destroying it. And I know I'm far too fast, so hold on to your seats, seasickness, but uh, this is a bit frustrating to fight ivy every step of the way, but we're not gonna give up. Now, obviously, there's so much rendering still to do on the tower. Right. Oh, who am I kidding? On every building. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. and, and we had the roses that we had gotten from uh, Chevenet. Yes. Right? And so we need to get those planted. And so uh, Patrick did what he needed to do to, well, first try to eliminate the ivy from the tower. And then because we wanted to plant the roses, we would just wanted to get the render... Uh, on the wall, 
back right. in front of the roses since once the roses start growing, we won't be able to get access to that part of the tower. Yes, and, uh, so they already started growing really nicely. Absolutely. Um, so left and right, right is only a little bit left, but uh, next to the door I need to really replace, I mean, or re place stones back in where they belong right. with proper rendering now that the ivy stems are gone. And um, I mean, we got, had ivy little trunks that were this thick. I mean, they're so big and um, uh, actually where Martin worked last year on the lean to or lean on, oh. whomever you ask, there were uh, through the, the uh, sandstone that the, that's built out of, mm -hmm. there was uh, an ivy trunk that is this Oh thick. yeah. I mean, it's in, insane. I mean, it's... Um, yeah, and actually, uh, even though it's uh, dead and we didn't remove it, uh, we've left it there because I think if we did remove it, <laughs> the corner of the building might collapse, right? So we are leaving it where it is right now, the, the dead stump that's in there. Yes. Uh, and, and so then when we get to repairing that, then we can remove it then. Yes. So I mean, it's, it is amazing how destructive ivy is or can be. Ivy has, of course, its place. It's a beautiful plant, but uh, not on walls. Um, as romantic as it looks, uh, it's also equally as destructive. Right. So that we are happy that we are um, fighting it. <laughs> But in the long run, I will always win. All right, so, <laughs> but it was, it was a fun project. I will, um, relatively soon, we will actually patch up everything in that, on that tower, uh, including the stairs. And I have cut the wood to build uh, the exterior win uh, window sill. Replace cell. the frame and the window sill, yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. that, that, is, that the tower is, again, watertight. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that came out of this that was really satisfying is that we experimented with pigments. Right, for the line render. Right. Yes, and in this case, uh, it actually turned out really, really well. Right. Yeah. So we have, uh, we actually have three different pigments that we bought that you can mix into the line render. They're a powder. And we have a black, a brown, and then kind of a golden yellow color which are sort of all of a combination of the colors that are in the surfaces of the render in the buildings here. Yes. Right. So uh, we were kind of been experimenting with that when we were first doing the uh, repairs on the tower for the gate towers. And I think we've kind of gotten to where we've gotten pretty good right. at adding color to it because otherwise you're going to have a very bright, you know, white almost uh, repair on the buildings, which, you know, you then you have to kind of wait for it to age and for weather and uh, the nature to try to age it. Now, th right? the difference is the, the gate posts, they are just, they're plain limestone. Right. So they, they need, they are bright, much brighter than the rendered buildings, which have been rendered with relatively coarse sand. Right. Uh, we have seen buildings rendered with very fine sand, you get this incredibly smooth, smooth texture. Yes. Right. So this is, uh, you know, old, old render and eventually we'll have to replace it mm -hmm. or repair and get a whole layer on it. Um, we'll find the right bank to rub to pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody that. Oh, sorry. No. Did you didn't hear that from me? No. And, uh, but it's, it's, so that's, and that's not, there's no urgency there. No. Um, but it is, it's interesting to play with the with the pigments because you really can can adjust uh, and tiny amounts of that pigment go a long way. Right, right. <laughs> it was fun. It was. So we are continuing with the kitchen renovation. Yes, obviously, uh, and we will have uh, more on that next week. And it's all building and not. It's all construction, not right. construction, and right. it is. It just feels good to put things together and to work towards um, a completed kitchen again. So that is, it's very motivational. Right. And it will be some time still before we close up the wall with the time capsule. Right. So you still have plenty of time if you want to uh, put some, uh, send something to us to put in the time capsule. 
The, uh, the address for sending something is in the description of this video. Yes, and on that note, uh, if you like this video, um, please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost any money. Um, recommend us to your friends. Um, hit, hit the like button. It does make a huge difference for us. And if you have uh, comments, please feel free to leave comments. We love them. And, um, and we'll see you next time. Oh, good Lord. Yes. Next. <laughs> see you Wednesday. <laughs> Happy until. Happy to say. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you'd like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.